So for any of you that might have seen this clip here, of my gold trap, then you'll know what the poor siding's for. <clears throat> now, at the moment, I've got my base plate down for my first table. Um, I brought my trap down with me and I've built my first layer and I've got the second layer. Now, that's going to be the deepest part of the gravel trap. I'm going to have my curb in here. I'm going to make some curb in there. This is going to be grass and it's going to slope in to the gravel trap. Um, I'm going to sort this out a little bit, drop this down into there. It's going to blend in. So hopefully, yeah, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gravel trap because I went on YouTube and I couldn't find a single video on how to do this. So I am going to show you how I'm going to do it. So yeah, let's get to it. So we're back, like I said, um, just showing you how to make these gravel traps. Now, I've got my 30mm polystyrene board and I've taken a sharpie, as you can see, and I've made out the line of where the track sits. And then we're going to cut, as you can see here, we're going to cut an angle, which we're going to use as curbs. And then, can you see the top of it? This section here is going to be curb. This one here, between these two lines, is going to be grass. And then it's going to drop into the gravel pit, which is going to be cut out on this part here. Then the main part of the gravel trap is going to be here, which fits just nicely and is going to sit lower than the track so when it's all in place this 50 mil board which we've got here 50 mil sits level with the 30 mil and then this is going to be a deep gravel trap to catch the cars coming in at speed so yeah what we're just going to do is we're going to cut this edge here and uh yeah then we'll come back after, after this we'll uh, look at doing a few other bits, so we're just going to cut down to the sharpie line there. Around the corner, like so. And then we're going to cut this way around. And it's a bit to line as close as possible, because then it's just as level as it is. So, hopefully, it's going to fit halfway. It's off a bit. Yeah. Do a bit of, a bit here still. Uh, bit here, so we'll just get the pen. Where's my sharpie? Here, just mark the areas where we do with knocking it back a tiny bit maybe. Uh, said here didn't I? There, there, here, and here, and here. I think that should be okay. Right. Now see we need to do that bit there as well. But now this needs kind of like knocking off the edge, but I'm not taking too much off it. So let's have a, another go at taking some more of this top edge off to smooth out the. I need to sort this flipping hoodie out. It's the tassels are getting in the way of me trying to see where I'm cutting. Does it fucking work any better? Right. 
guideline you've got is for going into the gravel trap so now you want to start cutting in th this way so like I've gone that way and I want to kind of fan it out a bit so we'll say if we make it This needs to be not as deep as this one, so we need to make it nice and say halfway maybe. I think there we go. Do the same here as well. So go about there down. Halfway into the board, if you can imagine that. I think we'll see where half the board is and then go from there. You know, on state. So now I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go all the right way across, like so. And I'm going to now take my blade, your knife, and I'm going to cut into the board from this back line into the line that I just cut at an angle and that should give me a depth that I can then work from going to work. Right, there we go. Now I'm going to work my way from that bottom bit up to here. So <coughs> take that from there and I'm going to from here just going to very slowly and at an angle go down into there and this should help in the case of it slants down and it gets deeper so what I need to do is when I've done that go into that corner a little bit like so you start cutting bits out but don't go lower than the mark that you've made on the left this edge that should help with the depth of it. So don't forget you've got the bulk of the gravel trap here. 
This is going to be the deepest part. This one. But we'll come back after I've done this. So this is going to be the last video tonight. We'll come back tomorrow and we will finish cutting out this. We will. But we've got this bit cut out. We've got the edges here chiseled out on the board. Then we're going to just basically get rid of all this inside here. And it should be all right. So we'll come back tomorrow. So we're back. Um, <coughs> we've got all of this cut out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to lay a layer of watered down PVA glue on both pieces of board just to seal the top and to give it a base so that the paint doesn't get soaked into the polystyrene and it'll sit on top of the glue. Um, I did do this last night. I cut out some triangles to turn them into curves so the raised bits are going to go red the bottom bits are going to go white as you can see there so yeah we'll uh go to a time lapse now with me laying down some glue So we've got the base layer of glue on, just need to let it soak in and then harden and everything should be ready to lay down some paint. But it's got to be quite watery so it runs in all the crevices and stuff. But yeah. We're, uh, we're getting there. So, <clears throat> we've got it fast dried with the hairdryer. Um, we've got this one finished. Going to leave it another 10 minutes just to finally, you know, finish hardening. Now it's, because obviously I've got it warm and sticky, so it needs to harden. And then this one, I'm going to come back to a bit later on. But 10, 15 minutes, so I'm going to be make myself a quick coffee and we're going to come back and we are going to paint the curving we're going to start with the white the background and then we're going to do the red triangles which is slightly raised to give a proper effect like be interesting to see if the cars won okay on it if not we may have to remove the curving and because of how i've actually done this if this doesn't work, I'll be able to put in some normal scale electric curbing. So, all being well, it works out okay and the cars are okay with the raised triangles. But, we'll see when we come back to it and we get it set up on the track. But for now, yeah, I'm going to make myself coffee and we'll be back to do some painting and, yeah, finish the curbs. Right, we're back shortly so we've gone over the curbing with some white paint you can't really see it but i think once i've got the red on there and the green for the grass I, mean, I haven't done this part yet but i'm just gonna do a quick time lapse go back over a few bits so yeah we'll be back after i've done that with it dry and we'll put on the red. So we've got the white finished, I've been back over it. Uh, now we're going to just go into a quick time lapse doing the red. So 
So <coughs> we're back and we have the red painted now. Don't look too bad. I'm gonna let the red dry. Maybe go over some of the edges a bit where you can still see the marker. But it's basically you have to build it up before you can start covering stuff with this paint on polystyrene. So yeah, we're gonna paint this green and then put some artificial woodland scenics medium fine grade grass and some short ultra fine grass this bit's going to be obviously the cork color the brown color on the like this one here um so this is actually the gravel trap that was in the previous video this was just a tester experimental this is what we've actually got so but yeah we're getting there we'll be back when this red paint's dry and we'll add some green and then we'll look at touching the red up at another point we're still waiting for this to dry i haven't force dried this well, i have but i put a bit more glue on this one to be honest with you it's still a little bit tacky we can't really touch that with paint at the moment but we're going to come back and we'll do some green so we've got the green done on this first piece and the curbing sorted out now just behind the curbing i'm going to do some brown it's going to make it look a bit dirty and it'll lead into the grass and then obviously this corner here This corner here, I'm going to have the cork colour. And have this obviously runs in with that. And obviously, this back end now, which I'm going to do on this time lapse. So, as you can see, we've got the green, we've got the grass painted. So, so far, the kerb looks a bit better than I thought it was going to. Um, I have noticed a big gap um, there, but it's relevant that for a first attempt, really. I'm quite happy, so yeah, we're going to come back a bit later on, maybe tomorrow now. I've got a few things I want to do. If I continue, I suppose, really, but yeah, really, to be fair, I just got to get this painted and that bit painted now. The same colour as this, which was a mixture of burn umber, yellow orchid, yellow oak. It's which one was it? It was this one, yellow. yellow oak that says but yeah <clears throat> it's looking good i'm happy with that so far so we're just going to get our small brush and some burnt umber and yellow oak and we're just going to do this lip just behind the red and white curbing before the green a brownie color to make it look a little more like dirt and also we're going to do this white area here and the edges of here for now and then we'll do the bulk of it later on at another stage
so so there we are guys we're then um, finished i know i didn't film any doing the background for the gravel but it's just the same really it's painting so you can see i've got some of the dirt now around that edge there look so yeah now it's um once this paint's dry so i've gone over the green again um once it's all dry it's just a case now of getting some grass on all the green areas and then this is where we're going to have some tires and there's going to be a wall behind the polystyrene there is there's going to be tires like all the way along so when this is set and square like so i do need to do sort of a couple of bits but that's going to be full of gravel so i don't really think that's too much of a fucking problem to be honest with you i suppose i could always just go over that corner with some my brown i suppose it's probably going to be the best idea but yeah next thing to do is the grass and we shall we'll do that shortly and i think i'll do a do a time lapse but before then i'll come back and i'll let you know that that's what we're going to be doing so See you shortly.